Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life where we look at lithium ion phosphate batteries, off grid power, van conversions and everything in between. Basically, we want to help you to build out an awesome van uh, to be able to hit the road and find adventure, but more importantly, to have a, a really good electrical system to power those adventures. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the DALI BMS and more specifically, uh, Bluetooth connectivity. So how do I connect to the app? Uh, how do I find my battery on the list? All that sort of stuff. And how do you actually work it? Because I get questions like, hey, I can't pair my phone uh, to the Bluetooth on my uh, battery. How do I do that? Or, hey, my battery is not showing up in the list. How do I get it to show up? How do I connect it? All that sort of stuff. So what I have in front of me is our Ops 280. So this is the battery that we've developed and that we sell here on our channel and through our website. And this uh, is a battery we're really proud of. We've uh, spent a lot of time trying multiple products, trying different things, trying to find a good source of uh, components from China. Uh, because if you've ever tried to buy this sort of stuff from China, it is a bit of a minefield. It's like, what components are good? What's decent quality? What sellers are good? Who can I trust? All that sort of stuff. And so this is what we have developed after a lot of research and trial and tests and everything. And it's built out uh, using 280 amp hour EVE battery cells lithium ion phosphate battery cells we've got a 150 amp DALI smart BMS in here and so it gives you a really good solid 12 volt battery for a van or a boat um, and so what I'm going to do here is uh, because the Bluetooth module is inside the battery uh, you can't access the on switch which reactivates the Bluetooth and in any case uh, one of the main reasons why we did that and we chose to not have the Bluetooth module on the outside was really we wanted to be able to seal this off so that the battery is sealed and protected and safe and all that sort of stuff but secondly um, to be honest once you've actually installed it in your van unless you have it somewhere that's really accessible uh, half the time it's not that easy to just get to the battery and just hit the t tap the button and yes there is facility on the DALI BMS to be able to plug in an on switch and wire that somewhere but even on my van I chose not to do that and even the van that we're converting now Delilah I'm not going to do that uh, on that van because uh, it's just more effort and really how often is it that your battery is going to be dormant for such a length of time that the Bluetooth connectivity will turn off and uh, you want to access it to see what's on there. Realistically it's going to be charged or something's going to happen to turn the Bluetooth back on and uh, once your battery is in the locker where it's going to live like in my van hardly ever access the actual batteries uh, and let alone getting to it to just hit the button to turn the Bluetooth on. So we're going to look at uh, how do I actually connect it and then what do I do if I can't see the battery in here. So I'm going to start off with uh, just showing you what the app actually looks like. So uh, when you go to connect to your, your battery, this is the app that you want. That little green one just above my finger, it's called Smart BMS. And so when you open that, you should be presented with uh, this list here and your battery should be on that list there. So we can see this battery just shown up there. If you do not see your battery in that list, the easiest way to get it is to start putting some charge into the battery. So uh, if you have a DC to DC charger, just start your car engine and then uh, it should be charging enough to see your battery show up on this list or connect to shore power or solar or whatever the case is. Um, and uh, if that doesn't work, then if you start a reasonable draw from the battery equally, uh, it will reactivate uh, the Bluetooth as well. So when you tap on that, it just starts connection, takes a couple of seconds for uh, the um, app to actually initiate and oh, let's try that again. There we go. Takes a couple of seconds for it to initiate and show you all the information that you need to see. Okay, so some volts, the total voltage is 13.6 volts, uh, nothing being drawn from it or very minimal, etc. etc. You can see the uh, individual cells, you can see the delta, the temperature, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that's basically how you uh, connect to the um, app. So if I do that again, I've just quit it there to show you. Tap that app again. Your battery should show in that list and you tap that. And then you should be able to see all of the information. And so that's it basically. Uh, no pairing, no trying to connect to the Bluetooth using your phone settings or anything like that. Literally all it is, download that app, 
uh, open it up, it should show your battery. If it doesn't show your battery, then connect up a charger and then it should automatically show the Bluetooth name for your battery uh, or start discharging the battery and uh, then you'll be able to see it there. So yeah, very simple, very basic. Uh, the app works, it's very reliable. So I uh, hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments or any problems, then uh, obviously reach out to us, drop a comment down below with any questions. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.